Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the essential light sweep effect I created for DaVinci Resolve. As always, you can download the template and try it out yourself. Once installed, you will find the light sweep effect under the essential effects folder in the effect panel. Drag it onto the clip on the timeline to apply the effect. In the inspector, you can adjust the sweep intensity to increase or decrease the brightness of the light beam. This looks good. The sweep softness setting controls the sharpness of the light beam. Increase the value to soften the beam or decrease the value for a hard edged beam. Let's reset it to default. The edge intensity controls the strength of this rim light effect which adds a 3D touch to the result. Setting this value to zero will disable the rim highlight effect if necessary. The thickness setting adjusts the size of the edge. Use edge softness to adjust the softness of the edge. These settings control the position, size and angle of the light beam. You can adjust these values in the inspector. Or enable the fusion overlay in the viewer and adjust the light beam directly using the on-screen controls. As we change the angle, the rim light edges also adjust to reflect the light direction. You can also change the light color by adjusting the RGB channels. To create a light sweep effect, you can keyframe the center parameter. Move to the beginning of the clip. Mark a keyframe. Move the light away so it's not shining on the title. Move forward a bit. Move the light to the right, across the title. A new keyframe is added. Play the clip. To better see the effect, you can disable the fusion overlay. Great, this looks cool. Instead of moving the center of the light for the sweep effect, you can also keyframe the angle parameter to create a rotating sweep animation. Double click to reset the center parameter and remove the keyframes. Go to the beginning of the clip. Move the light away so it's not shining on the title. Then, add a keyframe for the angle parameter. And adjust it, so the light is just off the title. Move the playhead forward a bit. Change the angle to wipe across the title, which adds another keyframe for the angle parameter. Play the clip and you'll see a nice light rotating and sweeping effect. If you want to learn more about creating this effect from scratch using Fusion tools, stick with me. Open the clip in the Fusion page. Add a brightness contrast node to the editor. Branch the output of the template node, connect to the brightness node as input. While the node is selected, click the rectangle button in the toolbar to add a rectangle mask. Bring the brightness node to the left side viewer. Resize the rectangle mask to a vertical rectangle, it's going to be the area used for the light beam. Select the brightness node, increase the gain to brighten up the mask area, resembling a beam shining. Select the rectangle node, soften the edge to make it look more realistic. Let's hide the checker underlay for a better view of the effect. We now have a basic light beam effect without the edge highlights. Here is a simple trick to add the rim light effect and highlight the edges. Select the brightness node, go to the settings tab in the inspector. Check the multiply by mask option. This will also mask out the area not selected by the rectangle mask. As you can see in the left viewer, 
Only the highlighted portion is left. Right-click the editor and add a bitmap node to the editor. Continue to add another bitmap node. Link one to another as effect mask input. You can also press shift space to open the tool selection window, find and add the bitmap node. Connect the brightness node to both bitmap nodes as input. Drag the bitmap 2 to the left viewer. While the bitmap 2 node is still selected, go to the inspector and change the paint mode to multiply. Select bitmap 1, invert the selection. We now have the nice edges of the letters. Change the center value. And this gives us a rim light effect, like in a 3D environment. Soften the edge to make it look more natural. Add a merge node to the editor. Connect the brightness node as the background input. And bitmap 2 as the foreground. Bring it into the left viewer. It looks nice with these rim highlights, but the highlight color does not match the image. Select the merge node. Change the Apply mode to Overlay. This looks great now, the colors match perfectly, and the result is very convincing. Now, let's add the output of this merge node to the output of the template node. And we have successfully created a light shining effect on a text title, as we see in the right side viewer. However, when we rotate the rectangle mask, the rim highlights remain in the same direction, they do not follow the angle of the shining light. To correct that, select the bitmap 1 node. Right-click the center parameter, modify the center with vector result. Go to the modifiers tab, we can now adjust the angle to change which direction the rim highlights should be rendered. So we can modify it with a simple expression and link to the angle of the rectangle mask. The edge highlight is rotated, but it's not in the direction of the light beam, they are offset by 90 degrees. To visually match the light direction, set the expression to the rectangle's angle, minus 90 degrees. This looks good. Now, if we change the rectangle's angle, the rim highlights will follow the direction of the shining light. Alright, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and find the template useful. Please feel free to leave any comments or suggestions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.